Hey guys, this is EYL on uh, two alarms. And today, it will be System Test 39, or Fire Alarm System Test 39. So, let's get started. So, we have the panel right here. That will be pretty much just explanatory. It's just the same panel as always. And, um, yeah. Just the same thing as always. We have an ESL uh, 53CS throat detector um, with the heat sensor in it. And sorry about all the lines on this, just these lights here. That's kind of going 30 frames per second, but anyway. We have a Honeywell branded 7002. This is not a 7002T, this is a 7002. It's an older model. And it's rebranded by Honeywell. You see right down there. We have a Honeywell pull station, I forgot the model number. The ANZEL rebranded 34W34T. I'm sorry, the ANZEL, the, the ANZEL rebranded uh, WST. The same 2424 smoke. Let's we'll start the same MS2. Got, we got a Space Age electronics flashing light. It's a flasher light. Yeah. And there's a for fire markings on the side, but uh, whatever, I guess. It's just a. Uh, you know, the 5450, the 5450 heat detector. We have an Anzo, we have a Anzo rebranded MS2. This is a fire suppression version. Not like, not like, not, not like this one. Not like this one that says, when it says fire alarm on it. This one has fire suppression on it. Much different, but yeah. And that's later. So you know, the 7002T, this is not the light version, this is, this is not the modified version, this is actually the the strobe one, you can kind of see it in there, it's not modified, this is, this is not the modified one. And we have a 20, no, Phoenix, fire detector, Phoenix detector, yeah. So the system will be set on continuous, so I'm going to put the Hanosian in the key here. The system will be a set on continuous. Um, so, so let us try. Light, okay. I think we should try. the fire suppression ms2 pulsation take the standard fci key and here we go Now the weird thing about this alarm, the 7002, it has a, it it actually glitches the panel of the counter. You can kind of see, it says six alarms, but it's only one. Unfortunately, um, I try to do everything to make sure this doesn't happen. But yeah, anyway, um, they're set to to continuous like they always do, and there's the WST strobe. And how about we re-alarm? 
yeah, we're gonna re-alarm. So let's uh, let's do the ESL detector. Yeah, so there we go. I put brand new capacitors, brand new electrolytic capacitors in this detector. It would, the old axial ones were bad, so I put brand new ones in here. It actually works pretty good. Yeah, the panel's glitching, you can kind of see that. <laughs> this thing causes a lot of EMI to the panel, so yeah. See? Works great now. We got an alarm on that one. So, let's reset that pulse station. And we're going to blow out the smoke of that smoke detector. So we're gonna do that. Air can. Okay. And then we'll reset. Yeah, so the alarm here, it's glitching the panel a little bit because it's again mechanism in there's causing a lot of EMI, so interference. Uh, <laughs> someone told me about that, so that's why it's like, you know, but yeah, it's, it's working though. Um, yeah, so now we'll go ahead and do the, uh, this is the Honeywell pole. So we'll do that right here. Oh, I'll just press reset instead. My bad. But we're going to reset it anyway. It's not going to go off. The panel will not go off again. That's how it is. But we're going to reset it anyway. Reset. There. You see? They went off again. Reset it pretty quick. So, so I did that. Now, actually, you know what? I think we're going to do the heat detector of the ESL. Um, so we'll do that. That was the gun glitch again. The panel is glitching. <laughs> and like always, the panel is glitching again. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's not active, but yeah, the panel is actually glitching at the moment. So, with this alarm, but nothing I can do. Let this cool down. It's probably still too hot. Yeah, it's still too hot. Still active. Oh, there it goes. Now I can reset now. Yeah, so you have to wait for that click from the heat detector. Heat sensor here, so it's a pretty loud click. But yeah. See. All right, now I'm going to test the 24 24. <laughs> so.
Yeah, the panel's glitching again. But yeah, that's how it is with this alarm. Um, 7002 doesn't have, doesn't have a great mechanism inside. Causes a lot of EMI. Someone told me about that, but there it is. 2424 is activated. And why not pull the FCIMS2 now? There we go. Two alarms, you can see that now. I'm going to reset the pulse station. Clear that out. Okay, now I'm going to reset the pulse station. Okay, I'm going to reset it here. Okay, it's reset. I'm going to reset it from the indicator. Now we're going to do the heat detector. So here we go. That was fast. That was fast. Faster than I expected. Wow. So there it is. It's activated. There's the flashing light next to it. It's flashing away. Actually, we'll take the light off here. You can see. So, yeah. So, here is the strobe. As a WST strobe. So, yeah. There's that. And. Again, panel's glitching, you can kind of see it's glitching with the alarm count, but again, that's how it is. This alarm here doesn't have a great mechanism, like the 7002T. But yeah, we're reset. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and this one over here, bring this hair dryer or yeah, heat gun. And we're going to test the Phoenix smoke detector here, the fire detector Phoenix. So we'll get the uh, okay. So here we go. Back to be fast. There it goes. Sounds that we'll go ahead and uh, blow it out here. Okay. So it looks like when it's activated. And we're gonna reset. So anyway, there's that. Probably not gonna test the heat detector today. Oh. Cause it takes a while to cool down because the heat sensor on this wall takes a while to cool down just like the ESL, so I'm not gonna do that. So with that said, that is system test 39 or fire alarm system test 39. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh please comment rate and subscribe. And uh thank you for thank you very much for watching.